Pour yourself a whiskey and settle in for a new episode of Geekiest of the Geeks. This week we're talking about Jessica Jones on Netflix. Let's go. Welcome to Hell's Kitchen. I am your host, Doug Cross. Today I'm talking about Jessica Jones. There will be some spoilers for the series ahead. Be warned. What happens to a hero who fails in their job to be a hero? That's the question asked by Jessica Jones in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Jessica Jones has superhuman strength and other abilities, but what happens when she encounters someone she can't fight? Enter Kilgrave, a villain with the ability to control minds. Not only did he control Jessica, using her to do terrible things, but he can control others that Jessica cares about, using them against her. So even with all of her strength, Jessica is defenseless against Kilgrave. Jessica Jones is a superhero show where the hero cannot simply come up with a quick fix plan and pummel the bad guy into submission. Kilgrave is clever and resourceful. He knows what Jessica fears and manipulates her using others. Jessica's only defense is to hide and push people away from her so there will be less tempting targets for Kilgrave. And when it's done, Jessica is left alone, wondering if there's anything she can do to balance the scales for the lives that have been destroyed and collateral damage in her struggle with Kilgrave. Kristen Ritter was born to play this role. She plays a snarky, world-weary detective with just the right balance of emotion and humor. Doctor Who's David Tennant turns in a masterful performance as Kilgrave. He's by turns sadistic and sympathetic. You start to feel for his character when seeing what his parents did to him as a child. But then you hate him all over again when his next casually cruel action takes place. And underneath it all, he portrays Kilgrave's boredom with the world and obsession with the one thing he can't control as convincing flaws for a villain. The story drags a little over the B story characters. There could have been a little less time spent on Carrie Ann Moss's character and her love triangle. And the Kilgrave controlled me support group weighed some of the ex scenes down with exposition that was unnecessary. And that could have been time that was better spent fleshing out the backstory between Jessica, Luke Cage, and Cage's deceased wife, or going into more detail about the things that Kilgrave made Jessica do while she was under his mind control. This is a much darker story than most superhero genre stories. It is definitely not appropriate for children, but though it represents a low point for the title or character, she has no place to go but up from here in her journey to become a hero. Despite the dark tone of the show, I enjoyed it, and I'm interested to see where they take the show in the next season. Let us now say our goodbyes until we meet again. Let me know what you thought of the first season of Jessica Jones in the comments below. There are like and subscribe buttons in the appropriate places as well. And you can also check out our social media pages below. Tune in next time to see me win a poker game by telling everyone to go all in and then fold. <laughs>